going on everybody? Your host AM at 1534 here. Let's play some more Doom 3. And um Yeah. It's going down like that right now. Um Yeah. <laughs> Don't really have much to say at the moment. It's still pretty early in the morning, so I am kind of like disoriented sort of. I mean you guys you know how that goes when you get up earlier in the morning than you're used to. And then Shut up. I don't want to hear none of it. And you're like still kind of not really sure of what's going on. Oh shit. That's not a good area to be in right now when we're low on health. But yeah, my uh, deepest apologies for not having any videos up for you guys to watch over the past couple of days. Shit. Hermit his soul and give me his health. Yeah, baby. Now we're gold. We are so good right now. Oh sh! Maybe not. Maybe not. There we go. Now we are. God, give me a place to be safe for a minute. Good shit. But yeah, I've been I've been a little bit busy over the past few days, so forgive me for not being fully available. I feel like I've done this already. Storage hatch. Where's the storage hatch that I just opened? Gotta be here somewhere. Storage hatch. I don't remember there being any storage. Ha oh shit! It's in here. That's a dead guy with a PDA for Mr. Tony Bates. I wonder what Mr. Tony Bates has to say. Brian Franco. Increase your P1S size. There are all, of course, there'd have to be one of those in there. Please pay particular note to page 12, section F, part 2. Alright. I don't think you need to report that to Dr. Petruger at all. Does he have any things? Ooh. This is the audio log for Tony Bates, Mars Security IT Division, September 25th, 2145. It's the day before my brother's birthday. I spent birthday. the last four hours going through the code for the door systems here in Central Processing. This is proving to be a real bitch of a glitch to work out. I've traced through every system I could think of. Access to Lab A continues to be problematic for the time being. All the regular access codes seem to be working fine, but the database will not allow access rights to be granted to new visitors. In the meantime, I'm adding a backdoor code into the systems for IT staff and the eggheads, so if they need access to Lab A while the systems are on the fritz, they can use the code 627 to bypass door security. Well, that's nice. So, that's what I need to use, huh? Oh, shit. That's not a very good place to get stuck, man. God, get the hell out of here. And we'll kill you, because I don't really want to have to deal with your ass right now. And that is because it takes so much goddamn ammo to kill him with. And I've already wasted all of that. So now i got to go back to the old shotgun. Riding shotgun with a shotgun. What is the room with the password that I need to put in? Monitor station active. But yeah, so I went to a wedding last night, and that was really, really cool. It was, um, it was like an authentic Mexican wedding, and so it was like even more awesome. And I've never been to one of those before. I mean, I am... Here, hold on a second here. 627. I, I may be, you know, half Mexican and all, but I've never been to like a full-on authentic Mexican wedding. Dude, those people can get down. Like, they know how to throw a party. And it was fucking awesome. The part about it that sucked, though, was that the uh, the caterers that were supposed to be there didn't get that. They got there like three hours late, which, I mean, that that sucks. So, actually, we, I didn't even stay for the food. Which is really ironic because literally the minute after I left, the, the food was ready. But, I mean, I had already been there for like five hours, and I was like, dude, I just, I, I, I need to go. <laughs> I already had like super low blood sugar, and I was like, dude, this is just not gonna, not gonna work for me right now. I need to go get some damn food. Not to mention that this is just like, and I, I never thought that I'd hear myself say it, but I'm actually getting like too fat. Like, 
for most of you guys that, that have been hanging around for a while, you guys know that I went to a friend's wedding last, like literally almost a year ago, last June. And so I had to go buy some clothes and shit for that, and so I did that. Decided for this wedding I'd wear the same the same stuff that I wore to my wedding last year. And I literally had to suck it in, you know, like, as hard as I possibly could just to get those fucking pants on. And it was so uncomfortable the entire time, but it was really the only pair of, like, true dress pants that I had. So I was pretty much bowed for the entire day. It was so not tight. Definitely the least comfortable uh, clothing arrangements that I've had to deal with in a while. Give me that free stuff. And some more stuff here. Oh, I see you. Hey! Oh, did I, oh, I thought I got him. Shit. Shit. Where the fuck is he? Oh, this dude. Oh, I'm gonna die already. God, and I have to use the soul cube on somebody. Thank God there's unlimited charges for that. If I if I could only use that a couple of times, I'd be pretty pissed. This is nice though. This is very good. Oh, there's that giant security code that they probably noticed. Charlie Haskell. This is the audio log of Charlie Haskell, Delta Labs technician, dated September 23rd, 2145. We're making good progress in increasing the max range of Chamber 3 in the Delta Complex. Ooh, a big We've been spine. crunching numbers all night and feel that with a few slight modifications, we should be able to boost output to cover all of Delta. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut into that guy's whole thing there. The latest schedule changes are wreaking havoc on our current systems. And it's not uncommon to see system utilization at 99% for days at a time. We understand that Lab A has finally received the NREC 6809. Please consider this a formal request for a block of two hours for a day for the soonest available time. <laughs> Dude, I, I can't even express into words how much I love that. It's so awesome. Anywho. Oh. You guys. But yeah, so that wedding was awesome. That's pretty much the moral of the story today. I didn't really want to have to dive into that any further, because that's really all I need to say. At least it wasn't, like, incredibly hot, but it was out in the middle of nowhere. And that kind of sucked because I got a bunch of dirt in my shoes. Nothing worse than having dirt in your shoes. Oh, boy. God, I hate these guys. These guys are vicious as all hell. They really, they really know how to get you. I just want to be safe for a fucking minute. God. Give me a safe place to go. Oh, there we go. I knew he's gonna, he was going to come out of somewhere. Ow. Oh, no! He's summoning minions! He's really summoning minions. I'm trying to kick my ass with. God. Soul Cube. You have some work to do. I need some health really bad. And you're gonna be the one to restore it to me. Who's coming? Who's gonna get it? Oh, that motherfucker! He got out of the way! Oh no! Cause I don't know how long I have to wait till I can use that thing. Alright, well now I gotta save just in case I get absolutely obliterated by somebody or something. I need to go back to my shotgun because I don't have enough ammo. Is it ready? Uh, uh. I can't use it. Fuck. It's not ready for me to harvest souls yet. Which is not cool because I need it to be ready to harvest souls with right now. This also sucks because I may not be able to have a as lengthy of an episode as I would like because I have work soon. Shit. Oh, you're ready. I'm... Oh, okay, I was like, I missed again? Fuck, that didn't really give me very much health. These are not the correct people or things to use this on. But unfortunately, I didn't really have much of a choice at that point. But I will take that. And that. And I gotta reload again. Fuck. I need to get out of here, like, now. My problem is I don't know where I'm supposed to go from here. That is the major problem. There's some shells. She sells seashells down by the seashore. I never was able to say that very well. This is going to take me back to... Yeah. 
So there's obviously nothing really that important down here, I'm guessing. I'm going to go back through it one more time just to make sure. You can never be too careful when it involves underwear. Ah, C, C. To routing we go. Yeah, I, get, I, got, I got work in a half an hour, and so this kind of sucks. I must stay safe and not let you guys kick my ass. No, no. I don't want what you're selling, bitch. No. God. Well, luckily I got a pretty decent amount of health from him. I was kind of afraid of that for a minute because the last time I got something from one of those little, little tiny guys, it only gave me like 20 points. Or anything down there? Nope. I'm not gonna be able to fit into that. Oh no! Fuck! Get the fuck out of here! Oh god. Where's. Whoa! Oh no! You son of a bitch. Oh, sorry for the loud noise, guys. That sneeze kind of snuck up on me out of nowhere. Now I'm gonna take the elevator again. Blah blah blah. Get all the way up to the third level. That's the wrong one. God damn it. Go to the back of this fucking place again. Find the elevator to go up. There we go. Yeah, I called it. I called it. Get me up there. Oh. We're going to kill this little bastard for knocking us off of the wall. Oh, is this one of these guys? I thought it was one of the other guys that are, like, super hardcore. I guess not. Is there somebody else? Why'd that door close on its own? I don't like that. Like somebody else is trying to keep something from me. Or something. Or we can just go through the door. I don't like the sound. Uh-oh. Whoa! 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 Where the fuck are you guys coming from? Oh shit. Time to save. Good god. That's gonna be trouble. Oh no! Yeah, that's what I thought. You little cock thingamajig. Alright. God, I love picking up ammo. Especially at a time when I'm really gonna be in need of it. And you're gonna die. And I'm going to live! I need to live! And I will. That thing is such a fucking lifesaver. It's just unbelievable. It's like the most overpowering weapon in the entire world. Yet I totally don't care whatsoever. And I really need to probably end this video pretty soon. I still need to get, take a shower and get to work in pretty much the next 20 minutes. Oh no. So when I find a safe spot, that's probably going to have to be what's going on here. Just because of those stipulations. If, ooh. D-Lib replacement kit. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty cool. Sounds pretty cool. Ooh. God. These things. I don't like these things. Keep coming out. I don't know what to do. Oh, this this thing. What was the what was the code for that thing? I don't remember. It's somewhere in here. Nope, no, it was in this one. Um shit. I remember seeing something about a locker code with 669. Yeah. 468. That's what it was. Sweet! Oh, we got our hand grenades back. This is fucking awesome. Alright, guys. Just because I have to be at work in, tw like, 25 minutes, and I stopped to take a shower, we're gonna have to stop right here. But when we come back on the next episode of Doom 3, we got more stuff to do, obviously, because we always have things to do. And I don't know what that thing was that we picked up. Some sort of kit or something. I don't... Yeah, this thing. The... D-Lib replacement panel. Oh, that's for that That's for that door. That's for the door all the way back downstairs. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go replace that door and then go into it and figure out what's there. So this has been your host, AMF1534, saying thank you guys for watching.
and I'll see you next time. Bye.